world about our senior project. I'm going to be talking about senior design uh, in general. So you guys will get a glimpse of that, huh? So, I'm going to be talking about, can we, can we push this? No? Okay. I'm going to be talking about the approach to senior design. Now, I won't be telling you what you'll have to do to get an A, because that's Dr. Ibrahim's job <laughs> every year. But what I will be talking about is how to approach and basically some of the problems and uh, some of the solutions you'll have to go through when designing senior, when going into senior design. Okay, I'll be talking about the basic things, finding an idea, the research, the implementation. I'll talk a bit about our project, like Omar said, and the mo a very important part of senior culture, which is celebration. Okay, finding an, an idea. I mean, every year, a bunch of students are given the ability to propose an idea to a professor, an idea they feel passionate about or feel interested in working on. And based on that, a professor would either say, yes, I like this idea, or no, hey, I'm not doing this, maybe some other time. What we did last year was basically come up with a very simple, simple idea, approach one of our professors, Dr. Qasim, and present it to him. We told him, hey, we like this idea. Can we work on it? Would you support us? He was like, yes. This is very early on. This is very important. So what we're going to say is, define a problem. The first part of knowing what kind of senior project you want to do is define a problem. You, you go out, you see people you know, uh, falling because they have problems in their lives. That's a problem. There's a solution to that. You see students not able to basically, not able, not able to finish their homework. Maybe there's a solution for that. Our problem was deaf people. That's the problem we felt very passionate about. So, deaf people have a lot of problems in integrating in society. How can we help them do that? Well, we said, seeing as deaf people, a lot of the people who are deaf, a lot of the times carry uh, mobile phones, well, let's, why not develop an application on the mobile, on a mobile phone, so that they can be able to communicate and integrate themselves into society. So, no, no, keep, go, keep wait, slow down. There is, okay, well, we talked about the problem and the solution. And this is a very important part. Now, approaching a professor about your senior project. People like to leave that to the end. It's not a good idea. At the end of the day, if you have this idea and the professor you think would be most likely to help you out with is already taken or already has his load, he will not be able to approach you. He will not be able to help you. So approaching the professor in the beginning, as soon as you have an idea, a semester, maybe you know, three months before you start senior project, is very important. As soon as flippin' possible. Okay, research. Now you've got this idea. You got the professor. You guys are ready to you know step on it and go with this idea. So phase one is research. Now you're gonna need a lot of research. We spent hours just reading up on material we didn't end up using at the end of the day, but it, but it did help us out some way or the other. So phase one is... change. Okay, this is very important as well. When you get into a project and you have this major idea, expect it to change. Expect it to grow, expect it to become smaller, except expect it to mature more and more. If you had this idea in the beginning, do not have this hesitation to understand that, you know, the shape of this or the shape of that or take advice from different people and understand that this project will have to change from time to time as you grow. This is very important. Learn to present your ideas to your team members. Now you're working with two, three, not more than three, you're working with two partners, maybe one partner. It's very important that you guys have a flow, a flow. I mean, you can't enforce your ideas all the time, and he can enforce his ideas all the time. It's very important that you guys have basically uh, a communication channel where you're able to talk to each other and understand each other, presenting your ideas, accepting others' ideas. And documentation. Now, uh, here's a bad example of documentation. Uh, don't leave it to the last day just before the, uh, the turn-in date, the two-day. Don't turn it in. 
You know, don't get all the documentation and start writing two days before, for example, your senior research design project uh, in the first semester. What this does is basically, yeah, you'll write something pretty okay, maybe okay, maybe relatively not okay, depending on someone's opinion. But what you will have to do is, it won't be smooth. What I suggest is while you're taking in information from time to time, document everything. Put references and put it somewhere on a scratch of paper where you're able to reference it whenever you can, whenever you need to. Page two. Implementation. Now, uh, it's very important that you're in constant use of whatever uh, you're working on. If it's a programming language, then you guys have to constantly be up, up uh, you know, you have to be constant, constantly practicing this programming language because you don't, at the end of the day, you don't have much time. You have a semester, four months, 16 weeks, that's nothing. You have to learn a brand new programming language or you have to get involved with an interface or build hardware. This all uh, requires you to be in constant practice, constant practice. Wait. Oh, this is very important. Work to satisfy yourself and not the supervisor. Don't go, don't go every week and like, oh, okay, I need to get this done. Supervise your time. If I don't turn it in now, I'm gone. I'm gone. It's important that the supervisor sees work, but know that you're working on your project. Make it your project. Make it a goal that you want to achieve by the end of the day. And that's very important. Okay, so this is a cycle um, that you guys will see now. This is a basic cycle. So we can start from the top. That's how long it is going to take to, you know, the de how many days are left till you meet a professor. And this is your emotions and how you feel right now. So you've got six days until your next supervisor meeting. What do you do? Well, you chill. You eat a lot of food. You watch couple of TV shows, a couple of movies, it's okay, there's a long way to go. Three days before weekly meeting, you're like, oh, no need to start, man, I have three days, so why would I start it now? I still have three days. Confidence, you're sure everything will work, oh yeah, everything's going to work, I'll write this bit of code and everything's going to work fine. One day, left, code isn't working, nervous breakdown. You're punching the walls, you're driving like a maniac, about to kill people on the road. And then you've got minutes post weekly meeting. This is just the moment you come out of the weekly meeting. Two cases. Either equilibrium, you feel satisfied and happy, and you go into the cycle again, you feel revenge because you got shouted on. Okay? This is a cycle, this is a very useful cycle. I think you guys should look at it and compare it. Okay, another part of senior design is attracting attention. Now, attracting attention basically means getting people to understand what your senior project is about, like what your senior project is about, and feel that your senior project has, you know, its effect and benefit on society and whatnot. And how can you do that? You can participate, this basically goes out to you, I mean, participation in tutorials and everything uh, basically um, that could help you build your skills. This actually reflects on how you're going to uh, you know, finish your project and how well done your project is. Search for conferences and submit your project. Um, this is very important because uh, being able to, uh, to get your project out there to the, to the market, be it the market or the field, uh, the academic field, is very important. Try and publish your work. This is part of the first point. Uh, the more publications you get, the more um, you know. Uh, the more you feel confident about your project, the more you, the more feedback you will get from different people. Basically, this. So attract attention. Um, this is an example of attracting attention. Uh, we applied for the uh, what was it, Kitty? What was it called? It was the uh, research forum. Yes, we applied for the research forum, or somehow someone applied for us. And we, uh, we got voted on, and we basically presented our project to Chen Sultan, which is a good idea, because at the end of the day, these people do have money, these people do have power. Not just Chen Sultan, like other people, you know, uh, project managers, or marketers, or anyone. These people will be interested in your project, and hopefully do invest in your project. 
for further growth. Uh, okay, so, you know, um, the Wasso Translator was the name of our project. It was basically, you know, the basic problem we had was, you know, I told you about this, that people can't integrate this. This is, an exa this is our uh, poster, uh, which we turned in at the la end of the semester, last semester. Um, uh, if you can see, this is basically it. You can see the glove trans uh, transfers through Bluetooth to an Android device, and then Android device outputs uh, basically speech. This is a, a very basic diagram of what the project is. <laughs> Celebrating. I mean, this is very important because at the end of the day, uh, you know, you put this what one year of effort in. And you have you've grown with these people. You've uh, you've formed uh, friendships. You've formed strong, you know, strong brotherhoods. And it's very important that you do celebrate this at the end of the day because it's achievement for you and it's achievement for everybody else. Keep going. This is very important. I, I need to emphasize on this. Every, starting from last year, we uh, seniors buy everyone's food. Last year was Mensa. I don't know. This year, you guys have to do it. Whoever, are, whoever is a senior this year, you guys have to continue. More men's stuff, more anything that's heavy, and at least we get a part of it. So, so invite us. And that's it.